YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to get my new wheels for my turboed Tsunami Celica GTS 2004. So um, these are wheels are gonna be OEM Plus, which I love OEM Plus. They're gonna be, you'll see, they're special. But they are, they are from a Toyota slash Subaru. So I cannot wait to go get them. We're getting in the car today. We're gonna be taking the Tsunami Celica. This car gets like 34 miles to a gallon on the highway. It is amazing. So I don't have to deal with my Evo anymore, getting that bad gas mileage. We have a bunch of room to put the four wheels in. We just did that video where we got the stock wheels. So now we're getting the um, sort of stock wheels. That right there is the coilovers. They already sold. And then I've got a bunch of Mitchell.com uh, orders in there. Those coilovers sold within like four hours of me listing them. Um, the TRD kits will be coming soon on there. And then my turbo kit, I don't have any news on it. They haven't sent me an email or anything. But again, I'm assuming it's August already. I'm assuming like late September that I'll get the kit in my hand and we'll start to tear down probably in October. But we're gonna have some nice wheels and I can't wait to put the wheels on this car with the uh, current stag lowering springs. I think they look really good. Um, I also have some spacers for these wheels. So we're gonna have them spaced out a little bit so that we should have a flush look. These will be for sale, but they'll probably be sale for sale local. Um, I probably won't ship these, but yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, I got all the goods we need to do a long road trip. I'm excited. We got three white monsters. We got beef jerky for the gains and uh, we're on our way. So let's go ahead. Let's drop off the Mitchell.com orders. Let's get in the car and we're driving like 10 hours. Big drive. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go. All right, we got a full tank of gas, we got TRD, and of course we got lift. Let's go. GT exhausted we've officially driven here we are a long way in I'm uh, waiting for the guy to come so I can pick up the wheels I think he's showing up in a frontier a Nissan pickup I think is what it is um, and I'll have the wheels to show you guys um, these wheels actually don't look half bad I'm going with a similar look but an OEM part and not whatever these are so I'm excited it was a big road trip so let's see let's see the wheels here in a minute All right, man the guy was really really nice very nice. Awesome. Thank you so much. You guys ready for the cars behind me? Here we go. Three, two, one. Bam. Look at those. Isn't that sick? Do you know what those are? They're STI wheels from a BRZ 
Very rare. Look at that. It says STI there and STI there. How awesome are those? Extremely spooky. So these are special, special. Um, there's only a thousand of these cars made. They are the blue series, the, the blue release series, and I love these. So I saw these come up and I did a bunch of research, sorry about the wind, a bunch of research before I bought them. And I was like, these are gonna be perfect. So they fit the Celica, they're five by 100, same bolt pattern, but we're gonna need some spacers. So I, I love it, I think it was worth the trip. They look sick, they look awesome. They're gonna look so good on there on the car. They're 17 inches, which is what I wanted. Oh, they look amazing. They have Continentals. We'll try to use these. There's look like there's some treads still left on there. But I think those are going to look absolutely amazing once I get them on the car. That looks so good. I love it. Now, they are pretty dirty and there are a couple, they're painted. There are a couple of parts where the paint chips, so I'll have to touch that up. But overall, I got a pretty fair deal and definitely worth the entire drive down. I am absolutely stoked. Those are going to look so good. So we're going to be end up doing, uh, already delivered to my house, I already have the lug nuts, we're going to be doing black lug nuts, and then we're going to be doing, um, uh, I think we're going to be doing 25 millimeter spacers, um, I think that the studs are 30 millimeters, so I might have to have another 5, we'll see if I can use the 25 millimeter spacers with the uh, wheel, so that I get a little bit of poke and a perfect fitment for it. And then if I can, I'll add another five millimeters to have it even poked out a little bit more and um, we'll use the spacers and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, but now, we gotta go and drive all the way back. Absolutely worth it though, huge drive, but that looks so sick. Oh, what a unique build. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Is that a ninth generation? I believe it's the ninth. Yeah, ninth gen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I like that car, man. Cool. You got VTEC? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, I forgot in Oregon they fill up your gas. So I'm getting more gas. It's the first time getting gas. I actually have um, a third of a third of a tank left. So the Celica's been doing really good on the gas mileage, as it always does with the 34. But we're gonna fill it up with some Chevron. I'm gonna I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm dying. And then uh, we're gonna head back. Uh, but the guy said that these wheels look awesome, even the guy filling up. Oh my gosh, those look so good. I'm so stoked. those LEDs. I took a pee break. <laughs> Alright, let's get back on the road. Oh, you know we gotta stop for the Evos. Oh, I miss my Evo. They look so good at night in white. Oh, oh, I see your boost gauge, bro. You know that thing's fast. Officially the next day, I've already gone to um, the tire store, the wheel store, and I've already got these mounted and balanced, and I added valve stems to them because they didn't have any of that when I picked them up, so we got all that done. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna pull them out real quick. I'm gonna detail them. Um, they need touched up paint, 
So I'm going to pull them all out real quick, and then I'm going to, um, when I pull them all out, I will uh, detail them real quick, and then I will put the car up, and we'll install them, and then we'll do a final edit video. So let's go ahead and pull them out real quick and detail them. Oh my gosh, those wheels are so freaking amazing. Oh gosh, those are my favorite wheels of all time. Um, so currently, they, this is all they are before I clean them. We're going to clean them all. I'm going to touch up some of that paint right there and make them look brand new. So what I like to do is take soap. Um, and a bucket and then a microfiber or a little wand, a rim rod, a rim rod, um, and then go around this. Uh, this is detailed. These I think are 15 spoke. I counted them. 15 spoke um, STI wheels. They look amazing. So I just uh, detail it. We're going to hose it clean. We'll let it dry and then I'll have black touch-up paint and I'll just go over it with black touch-up paint and it'll make it look brand new. All right, number one is done. I uh, will use a dry microfiber, dry it, and then I'll touch it with the, the paint. Let me go ahead and do the rest of these three. Um, it'll take me about 40 minutes to do all these, 45 minutes. Okay, now that we have the car lifted up, we're gonna go ahead and buzz these off, these old wheels. And then I did get new lug nuts too, so we'll buzz those off. And uh, I'll put the wheel spacers on. So these came in the mail. They're five by 100, and they're one inch or 25 millimeters. These are what we're gonna use with the STI wheels. Um, so let's go ahead and put these on. Well, I'll show you guys how. I just hope that with the way that the STI wheel is, because I went with, um, oh no, it's perfect. Look at that. So the studs are hidden behind there. Perfect. This is wonderful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, these are 25 millimeters. These are absolutely perfect. No shaving. You don't have to cut the studs or get smaller um, wheel studs. Those fit perfectly. Um, I use it in my impact to impact the 19 millimeters on there. Now I need to go grab a wheel and then I gotta go get my new lug nuts that just arrived. We did the 25 millimeter, then we tightened them with the 19 millimeter, and then we did our new black lug nuts with the black STI. So um, these are nice, these look really good. These are affordable. Everyone uses these so they're not, if you guys think you have a key or not, everyone has a key for these. So let's go ahead and tighten those on. Oh my gosh, this car's looking expensive. That's what I'm looking for. So uh, we have the, 25 millimeter spacer, the new aftermarket lug nuts, um, 1.5, 12 by 1.5, 12.5 by 1.5, um, tightened on there, the SDI wheel on there. Now, um, both of them are done. Let's go ahead and lower the car. Oh my gosh, that fitment is so good. It's fat, oh, that looks good. I'm so glad I did 25 and not anymore. That looks amazing. I was thinking about going up a little bit, but no, that looks gonna look so good. This is um, very similar specs to my um, Koenig hypergrams that I did. Um, Koenig's poked out a little bit more, but this is very similar. You can actually kind of see, reminds me of my Lotus. On the Lotus, the wheel kind of sticks out underneath the bumper a little bit like that. If you come over to the Lotus, it's the same way where the wheel kind of sticks out a little bit right there. Did you guys see that? That looks so good. Let's go ahead um, and do the other side of the car. Just like that, we're done. What do you think? This is the thumbnail. I did all that miles, Ooh, all that, yeah. to bring to my girlfriend to use her as that thumbnail. Yeah, even gorgeous. even though the video is like 90% of my ugly mug. Have you seen the sparkle though? Yeah. It's bedazzled now. So it's bedazzled. So yeah. that's that's bird poop right there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just what I was just touching for yeah. the thumbnail. Bird yeah, poop. perfect. Oops. Um, so let's look at this. I think the ride is absolutely perfect. I think the poke. We did 25 millimeter spacers. Uh, we did the new black lug nuts. I love that it says STI on there. I'm gonna leave that. I was actually gonna paint them black, but I think it looks cool. I'm gonna leave it. It's pretty unique. It's a Toyota part. Well, Subaru slash Toyota, same thing. Um, I think it looks really good. What are your opinions? Are these better than what were on the wheels? Or were the wheels that were on the car before? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The remodel, upgrade, update whatever you want to call it, looks amazing now. You have been ranting and raving about these and I can't believe you drove like 60,000 hours 60, just for these, but okay, it was kind of worth it. You're yeah. right, you're right. Yes. You said it. Yes, it was worth it. I love these. I think they look really good. They're 17 inches, um, which is what I say and I wanted. I might go with a little bit lower profile. If I did use those um, coilovers, the car would have sat a little bit lower. 
which I'm really thankful. There is zero rubbing on this, by the way, no rubbing at all. This is a great setup. Um, I recommend using these spacers. They're a hundred dollars, I think, um, or like 117, I can't remember, um, instead of using five millimeters. So use these spacers. These are plus 48. So on the offset, it, they're really flat. So you absolutely need those. But overall, it looks absolutely amazing. Definitely good. Would, Would buy again. Yeah, absolutely. Would buy again. These are very rare. Um, they only made 500 white of these and 500 blue of these. These are series blue STI wheels. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, subscribe. This is a big video. This is hopefully entertaining for you guys. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Woo!